Hello data scientist, welcome to Skillkit. In this video, we shall build an age detection model using CNN based deep learning end to end. During the course of this video, you shall get a first hand sense of how a data scientist thinks and works towards solving a technical problem of this scale and complexity. I'm sure I've excited you enough. So let's get started. For those of you who don't know us, we are Skillkit and we are on a mission to bring you application-based machine learning education. We launch new machine learning projects every month, so make sure to subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our ML projects. All right, let's move forward. This is our problem-solving framework. We'll go step-by-step step through this to understand, solutionize, and deliver on our project in hand. So let's start off with defining our objectives we wish to achieve with this age detection model. Simply put, we wish to build a highly accurate age detection model that takes human image as input and returns a probable age range for the subject in that input image. You and me ourselves can give a reasonable ballpark age range for any person we see around us. In this video, we shall build a CNN based deep learning model that does it for us automatically. During the course of this video, we shall focus on the technical aspects, including coding for building an age detection model. If you wish to further deep dive into the business application of age detection, I would recommend you to go through our age, gender and emotion detection business project that we have done for a retail store client, enabling them to predict age, gender and emotion of people entering their store. In this business application project, we are making use of uh, the age detection model that we are building as part of this video. Link to this is in the description part below. Do check it out. Now when we have clearly articulated our objectives, next up we need to find the appropriate label dataset for model building. Let's brainstorm a bit now on this aspect. As we wish to build a highly accurate age detection model, we would be needing tons of labeled images for training. Thankfully, a lot of such labeled image datasets are readily available on the internet. Here's a crisp summary sheet on some of these publicly available datasets for you. You may pause this video here and go through the sheet. A word of caution here would be that not all of these datasets are available for commercial use. For real client implementation, you might need to spend more time in identifying or buying label training data that comes with a commercial use license. For our project, we shall combine UTK faces and facial age datasets together for building our age detection model. With these two datasets combined, we have around 34,000 labeled facial images to work with. This is how our data set looks like. For each facial image, we have their exact age mentioned in the image file name. And this is how our 34,000 images are distributed across age. We have maximum face images of 26 year olds and we have images in the range of one year till 116 year olds. If you are new to machine learning or recently started working with image data, I would highly recommend you to go through our face recognition project as well, wherein we have used traditional machine learning to solve a relatively simpler computer vision problem. Link to this is in the description part below. Do check it out if you are a beginner. All right, now let's sketch out a plan on building our age detection model with CNN based deep learning. We already have 34,000 images with us but we need way much more to train a neural network with good accuracy. Thankfully, using the popular data augmentation technique, we shall further expand our training data set. We shall talk about that in a minute. Post that we shall also be converting all training set images to grayscale to reduce the computational power we may need for building this model. Further, as we discussed while setting up our objectives, we shall predict an age range rather than the absolute age. For this, we shall need to intuitively define our age classes. For example, people above 66 years of age could all be clubbed into one age group as they tend to have 
similar facial features. This may not be the best approach in the real world, but based on our business need, it for sure gets the job done. Next up, as we are working with tons of images, we shall use CNN based deep learning approach for model building. CNNs are well suited to handle image data. A word of caution here would be that training your own model would require a high end machine with a GPU. You may use Google Colab Pro, which offers online infrastructure with a GPU on a paid basis. The age detection model we are building in this video is developed basis the experimental work done by Prerak Agarwal. Link to his work is in the description part below. I highly recommend you to go through his article to get a first hand understanding of how data scientists think. Okay, now let's talk about these highlighted items one by one, starting with data augmentation. As I mentioned a while back, this is how our dataset images would look like, wherein we have faces in upright position and age labels to go along. But in real world, faces in images would not necessarily be upright. They may be tilted to the left or to the right as well. Data augmentation helps us in addressing this issue and gives us a precious bonus in addition to it. By definition, data augmentation is the technique used to increase the amount of labeled data by adding slightly modified copies of already existing data or newly created synthetic data from existing data. In our case, data augmentation would do slight modifications on all our training set images we have by rotating the original image 20 degrees and 40 degrees clockwise and anticlockwise. Plus, it mirrors our original image and then again does the rotations likewise. So with this, we have 10 total images from each base image labeled the same as the original image, or in other words, our training dataset becomes 10 times of what we originally had. Cool, isn't it? You may read more on data augmentation by following the link provided in the description part below. So just to summarize, we combine our original datasets UTK faces and facial age into one combined dataset of 33,486 images. Then we split it up into 70, 30 training and test sets. Then on this training set of 23,440 images, we do data augmentation to inflate it by 10x, which is 234,400 images. Moving on, let's talk about defining intuitive age classes. People in certain age groups tend to look similar, like this first age class one to two has subjects having growing teeth, hairs, generally speaking. For three to nine, the facial features start to grow. For 10 to 20, subjects start to look more mature. 21 to 27 age class is of mature adults. Likewise for 28 to 45 age class. 46 to 65 would have more loud aging features and this last class 66 to 116 have gray hairs, aging skin, etc. Of course, I am overgeneralizing here, but this is a close approximation of how similarities could be drawn on subjects in various stages of their life. And this is how data scientists think when they are in the process of building any ML model from scratch. Essentially, with this, you are asking a computer to do what you could do anyway, but at insane scale. So you would need to put a lot of your human sense into the model you are developing. Moving on, let's jump into the coding part of this age detection model now. Are you excited? Let's get coding. If you have already gone through our age, gender and emotion detection business project, you should be quite familiar with this free toolkit. By the way, link to this skill kit toolkit is provided in the description part below. Over here, we have this 1.1 age input output folder that has training data set in the input subfolder and model output files, including pre-trained age detection model files in the output subfolder. 
This 2.1 is our code file for building age detection model. Let's open it now to do a quick code walkthrough. Alright, now we are in Collab. As I told you before, you may require a GPU for building this model. I'm already using Collab Pro, as you can see over here. If you wish to subscribe to Collab Pro, just click on Tools, Settings, Collab Pro, and you may subscribe over here. You may avail this subscription for a month if you wish to build your own age detection model and thereafter you may cancel. Otherwise, I'll exhibit all model outputs to you in this code review anyways. All right, on this note, let's get started. I have Collab Pro. Let me quickly check if my runtime type is set to GPU. For this, I click on runtime, change runtime type. And I do see GPU selected along with high RAM. So we are good. Let's connect to runtime now. Awesome. Now let's go section by section through this code file to see and understand what our code does. First up, we have our plan of action, wherein we have summarized everything we need to do as part of this age detection model building. Next up, we mount our Google Drive like this. All right, drive is now mounted. Up next, we do the import of all essential libraries and function we are using. Now, just to be double sure, you may check if you have a running GPU with this next code cell. As you may check, we have GPU assigned in our uh, case. This next section is on data preparation. Here first up, we are importing our augmented training set and test set along with their labels that we have in our age input subfolder in the toolkit. In these first two code cells, we are reading the data zip files from drive. Let's do it. In this next cell, we are reading the labels for the two zip files we just imported. In this next section, we get to see how our dataset label files are like. You can see the output here. The next two cells tell us the number of rows we have in each dataset. So we have 234,000 images in the training labels file, thanks to data augmentation. Similarly, we have over 10,000 images in test set, which is 30% of the combined dataset as we discussed a while back. Next up, we define our age classes. Sounds familiar, right? Then we create a new column in our training and test set label data frames for these new age classes. With the head function, we can see a new target column that has gotten added basis the age we have in this second column. In this next section, we are organizing our training and test data sets. This is a prerequisite for CNNs. In the first cell here, we are storing file name and target for both train and test sets into lists. Then in this next cell, we are creating TensorFlow constants for the lists created above. Next up, we are defining a function for converting RGB images to grayscale. 
and in this next code cell we are passing all training and test images to the above defined function for converting them to grayscale now we come to the critical part where we define our cnn architecture let me take you through the architecture we are using first up we have an input 2d convolutional layer with 32 filters paired with an 2d average pooling layer then we have three pairs of 2d convolutional layer with 64 128 and 256 filters respectively paired again with 2d average pooling layers then we have a 2d global average pooling layer Post that we have one dense layer with 132 nodes and then we have an output dense layer with seven nodes. You may read more on CNN architecture following the link provided in the description part below. Next up, we are compiling the above defined CNN architecture in this next code cell. Then we are provisioning for storing CNN logs. We are also using model checkpoint for saving our model as it continues improving in performance across 60 epochs. So with this, essentially we are saving a model copy back to our Google Drive post every epoch that has accuracy improvement. Now we come to the model building part of this age detection course. As I said, we are doing 60 epochs for model fitting. The cell might take decent time to run. So for the sake of creation of this video, I already ran this code prior and I have the output recorded in this code file already. Let me take you through it now. Shown here are the results you shall get for all epochs over here as you may see accuracy keeps improving across epochs as neural network keeps learning from the provided training data set all right congratulations to you for making it to this point your model should be ready at this point next up we check for model performance with these next couple of code cells we are plotting these line plots for loss and accuracy for training we see accuracy peaks at 54th epoch next up we are printing the final cnn score for our test data set by passing it to the age detection model we just built and with this next cell we are printing loss and accuracy results on the test set. So our model is 77.9% accurate. Moving on with this next code cell, we save our final CNN model back to the drive under the output subfolder of age input output. We are also capturing the accuracy value in the file name so as to maintain version control. Now with the next set of uh, code cells, we plot a confusion matrix to know how our model classifies faces into our age classes versus the true labels. For this, we first generate predictions on our test dataset. Moving on, we plot the confusion matrix with this next cell. This one isn't that readable. So to fix that, we have these next two set of code cells where we first define a function to plot a more readable confusion matrix in a grid. And then we feed our numbers to the defined function. Here is what we get. As you may observe, our model does a fabulous job in classifying faces that fall in the first class that is two years or younger, accuracy is over 90% for this. Even for faces 66 years of or older, we get good 86%. For three to nine and 10 to 20 classes, we are getting not so good results, wherein our model is wrongly classifying a sizable chunk of these in other classes. 
And if you think about it, even you and I might end up doing this mistake. There are a lot of 20 year olds that look older or three year olds that look younger. Of course, there's further scope of improving model accuracy by using an even larger data set with more variation in images. Or you may further play around with age classes with your intuitive sense and check if you get better results. Sky is the limit really. All right, with this we come to the end of this age detection code review part. Our age detection model file shall get stored in the output subfolder in the age input output folder in your toolkit. Now let's talk a bit about the business application of this age detection model. We have already done a business case on age, gender and emotion detection for a retail store. I highly recommend you to go through it now to know how this model we just built could be used for a business application. All right then, this completes our age detection model video. Hope you had fun all along. Do share your feedback or queries in the comment section below. We post new machine learning project videos every month. So make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Good luck to you. Bye.